Hello everyone, today is Thursday, March 14th. It's 4.01 p.m., about a minute after the regular session close, and you can see my computer clock on my right and on my left. The time and sales showing the E-mini S&P trading at 28.12. Uh, first up is the DAX on a Superenco 14 tick chart. Uh, Superenco 14 tick uh, didn't have a great week last week and beginning of this week, and so finally it came back strong today. This is the one with the higher profit goal of 35.50, and this was hit in four trades. We had two losers to start and drew down about, it looks like more like $800 or 400 per contract. I think in the DAX you have to allow five to 700 uh, per contract drawdown because very often in the DAX it will come back from a drawdown. This had, after it drew down, it recovered. So it went from a $800 deficit to plus $3,500. Pretty nice trades after it started off with some difficulty. Okay, the Superenco uh, on the 14 tick with the DAX with the $2,000 goal had a pretty good positive slippage here. And it must have been on this uh, run down this burst of action here, kind of similar looking trades, but we ended up with 2512. So we had $500 slippage here in the DAX. So we had $500 positive slippage. Okay, the DAX on a 377 hike in ASHI chart. This has been very consistent, and today was no exception. The goal on this is 1550, and this did 1562. So we had one tick of positive slippage. Here's our goal down here. This is a limit order with an eight tick pullback, so pretty strong pullback, and it seems to get filled on this chart. Okay, so the DAX really leading the charge today. This is the DAX on a Superenco six tick using our step moving average filter, and this started out with a pretty steep drawdown of a thousand dollars, so 500 per contract. As I was saying earlier, you need between five and 700 per contract loss limit to allow for the volatility of the DAX. Well, after a thousand dollar drawdown, this came back to the plus side of 1500 to 1562 to hit its goal, and so it looks like there was four winning trades in a row. You can see it in the equity curve here. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 4 tick, also super consistent chart. This is the one with the 60-minute higher time frame, and this one has a goal of 1,050, so we hit our goal and probably had some slippage. There was three winning trades. This incurred no drawdown today. The E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick had a mixed bag of trades but ended up doing 875, the goal on this is 900 so definitely hit its goal and had a couple of ticks of slippage remember when we hit our goal we use a market order and so it looks like we had uh, two winner two two small losers here and then three winners and that brought us up to our goal okay the bonds on our 34 tick line break chart with our open range filter had pretty perfect trade here I uh, caught this short uh, after some action here. Really nice short trade with excellent money management. And the reason for that is, is what's cool about a line break chart is you can end up with a trade like this with really great uh, placement. We're trailing our stops by uh, basically bars and uh, varying the amount somewhat. But this is quite a real, quite a nice trade. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a regular five Renko chart with a higher time frame filter of Super Renko six. Another very consistent chart. Two trades back to back, and this hit its goal of 750, I believe. No, the goal is 800. So we had one tick of slippage with our market order at the end. This is our second chart of the regular five Renko that we chart. 
similar trades here. This one has a, also has a goal of 800 and a higher time frame filter of Superenco 8. Okay, a modest gain on the bonds on a 150 tick line break chart with our open range filter and we were prematurely stopped out. The stops on this a uh, little bit tighter here uh, starting with the volatility stop at four ticks and then minus two ticks with an offset of minus two ticks. That means it can go two ticks past the volatility stop. In any case, this was stopped out here. It could have went further, obviously, but I have the stops pretty tight on this one, so this only ended up with 250 for the day. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.